Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. For all that are new here, I'm Marianne Lee. I'm a yoga instructor, spiritual intuitive, embodiment and doula, and pleasure coach slash activist. Welcome to my channel, please hit subscribe. Hit the red bell notification icon if you don't already, so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. This is episode one of side effects you could be experiencing when your feminine energy is out of balance. I'll be doing four different series pertaining to benefits, side effects of what it's like when your feminine energy is imbalanced and what it's like when it is balanced. This is some personal work that I started doing about disciplined doing about a year ago. A year ago, actually, yeah, it was like COVID last year when COVID hit. Um, how, however, did I know, I've been kind of awakening up to this feminine energy and this feminine side of me for the last five years. But when I really started to embrace it and allow it to guide me, I would say a year ago, and it has helped me in so many beneficial ways. And we'll do more sit down videos so I can share with you because I can't fit that all in one video. So I thought to decide to come on here and start with side effects that you could be experiencing when your feminine energy is out of balance. Because yes, maybe you just don't know if it's out of balance. Maybe you didn't know that there's an antidote to these side effects that you could be experiencing. I'm so inspired and feel so called to do this work. I'm actually launching my first workshop on the six flames to ignite your feminine fire. And that starts February 18th. We will do 90 minute weekly videos. It's gonna be a workshop with some discussions, some breathing exercises that we're gonna do, and some few very asana yoga poses that we're gonna do to help embody, ignite, cultivate, harness our feminine energy. So if that's something that sounds amazing to you and you feel like you could benefit off of rehabilitating your feminine energy, then please get a hold of me. All my links are down below. My email preferably if you're interested in starting the workshop with me February 18th. Also check down and follow me on all my other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I do have a Patreon page. Patreon allows me to accept donations to have support financially to create content on this subject matter and on this YouTube platform. Because right now, I do not get paid. However, it'd be a blessing if I would get, if I could get financial compensation. That would be amazing because you should get paid for what you love to do, right? So with that said, ladies, have a seat. Be somewhere that you will not be distracted and grab something to drink, something to write with, and let's talk about it. Mm. And we have a journal here that I journaled some notes so I don't forget any important subjects that I wanted to highlight today. Side effects of when your feminine energy is off. Number one is you'll be reactive. So, pretty combative when people bring up conversations or cer certain subject matters. You're not responsive. You're not open to receptivity at all. You're very closed mind, not open to learning. Also, just energetically in the body is restless energy. Have a hard time going to sleep at night. You're one of those people that's always pulsing their foot and bouncing their knee full of anxiousness, anxiety. There's a lot of restless energy. You don't know how to really relax. You have to keep on moving. You know, with that reactivity is a voice that is catty and bitchy and competitive when it comes especially not only to other females but even in all your personal relationships. Not just uh, compassion side of you is lacking and the openness of you is hardening. Number two, no voice perhaps. Perhaps maybe your feminine energy is too overflowed and you became so passive that you lack the ability to place boundaries, thus the ability to demand and require respect. Number three, 
inability to receive. So that's when you find yourself always doing for everybody else, being a people pleaser, but the inability to fill your own cup up. Some of those side effects could be like you don't enjoy getting a massage, you don't enjoy even love making, you don't enjoy compliments, you don't know how to take compliments. And again, here I highlighted that the feeling of unworthiness, that's why you're unable to receive. You feel like you have to deserve it in order to receive it as well. There's like this, I have to work for it in order to receive, if you even have the ability to receive. Number four, menstrual cycle is unhealthy. So lots of side effects could be with that. Very painful cramps, not a healthy flow. Maybe it's not enough of a flow or it's too over a flow to where you're using way too many tampons, going through too many super tampons to where you could experience vaginal dryness, maybe even an unpleasant odor and really bad PMS side effects such as fatigue, irritability, and so on. Also ladies, how you know that you're more balanced is your cycle is close, if not on the full moon. It's healthy, you don't experience none of those. It's a really easy, healthy flow with a bright red color and very easy to manage and maintenance. Love under conditions. You love under conditions. So the inability to love unconditionally, which really means the inability to not appreciate diversity. Lack of faith. So this taps into our spirituality, which also taps into your mental state. There is a lack of scarcity mindset for the future or for any endeavors that you hope to indulge in or participate in. There is no faith. You're very scared mindset and very scarcity mindset. Last but not least, masculine qualities that manifest like dry skin, not only on the face, but your hands, cracky, dry, uneven skin tones, active acne, and attracted to masculine things, which is good to always feel strength, ladies, but when it becomes unbalanced and it becomes a part of your personality and characteristics, that's when it's too much and it's become unbalanced. We need to make sure that we are standing and aligning in our feminine truth and having the ability to be receptive and receive. So other things could be like dominant hobbies, or roles that you take constantly. Making sure that yes, everyone wants to be the teacher and teach people, but the most important seat is the student. Learning by everyone, all your peers. Look at everybody as a mentor because we could learn from anybody with unconditional lens. So they don't have to be this hierarchy, very patriarchy, or even financially wealthy, put together person. Someone could speak some words of wisdom to you and you could learn from the most humble shoemaker, perhaps down the street, perhaps just watching the sky and you could learn from just nature and how it evolves and loves unconditionally. So there you girls and ladies, beautiful souls, have it, welcome. I hope you appreciated and enjoyed your first sit down. It sounds like you have experiencing or are experiencing some of these imbalances, then I would highly encourage you to get a hold of me down in my email and do my workshop because there is an antidote. You can heal, you can ignite your feminine flame, speak your truth and align with the essence that God gave you. I love you all, beautiful souls. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.